Alright nerds, so today, we it's called the solar system and beyond, but essentially we're looking at how the Earth goes around the sun and day and night. Okay, so just take some notes um, and yeah, here we go. Alright, so first things you should know already is that the Earth gets its heat and light from the sun, um, the Earth spins on its axis, and the Earth orbits around the sun, and we should say at, well, okay, the Earth orbits around the sun, um, and you should know what a day, a year, and a leap year mean. Okay, so a day is the time that it takes for the Earth to spin on its axis completely. The year is how long it takes for it to go from one spot and be back all the way around. And a leap year is, well, that with an extra day on top. All right. So the moon is a, nat is a natural satellite of Earth. And you should also write down just this, that a satellite is anything that orbits a planet. All right, so there's the divide up the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Um, we've got this here, so just quickly draw that down. We've got the equator across the middle, um, and it's tilted on an axis, okay? So it actually, it, this is the line that it spins around, so it sort of goes around like that. All right, so if you should know by now the force that keeps the in orbit around the sun, the Earth in orbit, and that's gravity. Um, and this is why it moves at such a high speed around the sun, because it's essentially falling. So it spins around its axis like this, and that takes 24 hours, okay? So while the Earth is spinning, is facing the sun, it's in daytime. So that's your day. So the side that's facing the sun, that has the daylight. Um, and here is the quick little information about that. So essentially nighttime is really just a shadow. So all the sun's shining its light there. And whereas this side is just a shadow. All right. So, so the Earth is facing away from the sun is night. And people who live on this side is daytime. Alright. And here we can see that they're actually they're making this side the night time because you can see the lights go on. Which is pretty cool. So Earth orbits the sun every year which is 365 and a quarter days and that's why we have the leap years. We just go 365 days and then we add that extra quarter on every four years. Alright. So this is a pretty important diagram. I would I would draw this if I were you. Um, so it takes 24 hours to spin around its axis, 28 days for the sun, the moon to go around the the Earth, and a year to orbit the sun. All right. So because of the spin, the Earth, the sun rises and sets in the east, west. Ah, you find that out. I always get that confused. Um, and so basically, this is what you see though during the day. The sun comes up in the morning and goes across the horizon at night. Sorry, during the day. And it's also gravity that keeps the moon in orbit around the Earth every 28 days. All right, that's it. So there was a lot there. I hope it didn't take too long to get down. We tried to keep the writing to a minimum. And yeah, we'll see you in class.